George, Patrick Watto, it's Nate Cordry here. Um, I'm so sorry that I can't be with you guys. Uh, it is my best girl's birthday today, so um, I can't be there with you live, but I wanted to send this video along to you guys and to all of your viewers, and thank you for making such an enormous donation. Um, the donations have been coming in all day uh, for Broadway Cares, and it's a great organization, so thank you uh, for supporting them. Um, I played Tom Jeter on the show. Um, <laughs> wow, that was a year. That was a year. Um, moved to Los Angeles. Um, you know, it was Aaron Sorkin's return to television, so I assumed I had probably a good seven years of network series regular cash coming in, so I rented a ridiculous house in the Hollywood Hills off of uh, Woodrow Wilson by the Coinga Pass. Um, just a hop, skip, and a jump down to Warner Brothers, stage 19, where we shot. And um, that was a mistake. Rented it, didn't buy, but still a mistake. Um, I remember, remember being at the upfronts and them ushering us through the upfronts like we were... Um, you know, <laughs> they made all these assumptions about the, the presumed success of the show. And we were at the upfronts, we had our own little table and advertisers would come up and get take pictures with us, us, I mean, Matthew Perry. And the other NBC shows had tables and I remember walking past the 30 Rock table and the office table, no one was talking to them. No one cared. Everyone wanted to get a photo with the guy from France um, who was on a new series um, that didn't work out. Um, oh man, I remember, I think it was episode three. It's either three or six, I don't remember, when I first thought we might be in trouble. We were against Monday Night Football, I remember because we aired on Monday nights and we were getting beat in the ratings. We beat um, um, CS on Miami though. Fuck that guy. But uh, Monday Night Football uh, beat us up pretty good. And there was a, it was a cold open uh, before they smash cut to the, to the titles, and it was Matthew Perry struggling with the ability to write a joke, or write a punchline. And it smash cut to the titles, and he's like, I can't write, write this joke. And I was like, oh, I think the stakes might be off. Because the stakes in the West Wing were inherent, you know? India's gonna invade Pakistan, so we're gonna do something about it. Smash cut to the flag and you're like, yeah. That's when I thought, ooh, this show might not be for everybody. Um, but I remember, man, I remember Tim Busfield being, being a spectacular director. Um, I made a lifelong friend in Steven Weber, who I, uh, who I adore and who is one of the great guys. Um, I remember, uh, <laughs> being overwhelmed for the first couple episodes, just keeping my mouth shut, staying in the background, watching the pros work. Um, I remember during the pilot, they were still they were shooting the final season of The West Wing, the final episode of The West Wing. They were shooting the same night as they were shooting the beginning of the pilot of Studio 60, and it was two stages over. And the same producers, of course, and so we went over to the stage that they were shooting The West Wing in, and it was Brad's final shot as uh, Josh on the West Wing. So the whole crew was there and the whole cast was there and I was there and like one or, me and Nate Torrance, I think, and maybe Simon Hilberg were over there and we were watching we're like, holy fucking shit. And, uh, and it was, it was uh, Whitford's last take on West Wing and he started the next morning on Studio 60, which was crazy. And I was dressed like George Bush. <laughs> from the pilot. Not a good George Bush impression. Um, what else? I remember uh, John Goodman beating himself up um, because he like dropped the line. He didn't get the lines exactly right and with Sorkin you have to do that and um, he was so, he, uh, it was wild watching him like beat himself up. Everyone was like, it's all right, it's all right man, let's do another take. Um, Boy, I remember the, yeah, my audition. Um, I had to do three characters and then the scenes. 
I remember flying out to test, flying out. It was my second time in Los Angeles, being overwhelmed by that. Um, and then uh, 2006, yeah, that was the year I started um, taking Propecia. So that's a good memory too. Still on it, by the way. What's up? Um, and I remember the final, final episode when we didn't know that we were canceled, but we all assumed it. We didn't know, it wasn't for sure. And I drove home, it was a late night, drove home to my apartment. I left the house in the hills because I knew I wasn't <laughs> gonna be able to afford it. And uh, went into my apartment alone, poured a tumbler of whiskey and quietly wept. <laughs> True story. Um, what an experience, man. Matthew Perry is still one of the funniest people I've ever been in a room with. He and I had a running bit doing um, Annie Hall jokes back and forth. Um, D.L. Hughley, so, just such a kind, sweet, funny guy. Lovely guy. It was a great group of people, Simon Hilberg and Nate Torrance, who I loved, and just, uh, it was a great crew. We had really great camera operators, and Tom Del Ruth was the uh, DP, who was the DP for the West Wing. Didn't know my name. Um, he called me Tom for like, I don't know, probably four months, and I didn't correct him. Uh, yeah, it's wild. It was, it was a wild experience to, to have all this hubris, to assume greatness before it, uh, it was earned. And I think every actor who's lucky enough to get a big break um, that doesn't end up working out, it's a great lesson. Really good, important lesson for me to make in my first year in Los Angeles. So, um, yeah. Whew. Sketches, not skits. Sketches, not skits. Um, make a donation in my name, will you? To Broadway Cares, but don't write, don't say for Nate Cordry, write for hashtag sketches, not skits. That'd be great. Uh, I love all three of you, and thanks for the support. Glad you guys are um, spending a day watching this nonstop. Man, Eli Wallach. Eli Wallach was on that show. That's fucking crazy. Anyway, I could talk for hours, but um, I won't. I'm sure um, you have uh, uh, Christine Lottie as a guest. Is she after me? Um, it's wild to even <laughs> think back over that year of my life. Fucking bananas. Um, so many more stories, uh, but, I'll, but I'll keep those to myself. Um, thanks again, guys, and uh, enjoy the watching. Happy watching. Sketches, not skits.